this email compromises. And I don't know how familiar you are all with them, but that's one of the major things we see across the country, uh, especially in Louisiana. I know in, in Texas as well, we are just inundated as investigators with business email compromises. And those are instances where maybe your company deals in financials, which all do, say maybe paychecks, or you do large sums of money transfers with another company. And bad guys know this. So they're very intelligent. They do a lot of what we call social engineering. So they'll go on your company's website, learn about who runs the company, who works for the company, who's in the company, who's the secretary, who's the CFO, who does everything, who's the CISO. They learn all this and it's very easy to do that. They can do that on the internet. They can do that by calling your company and actually talking to you on the phone. Sometimes you think they're legitimate people and a lot of times they are not. And so they're just learning about your company as much as they can and learning about the points of contact that might be the money person for your company or a CEO for your company. So once they learn that information, a company can be compromised through their email exchange server. Um, and bad guys do this a number of ways. They could either hack in and compromise somebody's email account and then that way gain access to maybe your CEO's email account and then pose as a CEO to get money transferred to the bad guy's account. So we've seen that happen many times. We've also seen where bad guys spoof or pretend to be maybe a company that your company works with on a, on a regular basis. And they'll make up an email account that looks very much like your known company, your friend company, and they'll pretend to be that company. And then they'll ask you to send, you know, your normal, normal amount of funds that you usually send. They'll tell you, hey, can you send it to this other account? And knowing that person's name or that email looks familiar, you don't really pay attention and then you do that. So we see that happening a lot. And what we recommend is that people really pay attention to the email accounts that you're getting, the domains of those email, email accounts that you see. And at the end of the day, pick up the phone and call them. Be like, hey, did you send me this email to change this account? If you did, uh, I, I just want to know what's you or it's not. A simple phone call can solve multi-million dollar instances where money is lost, like forever lost. A lot of times we can't find that money. We can't track that money. And by the time the mistake is found, it's, it's way too late. It could be a month, it could be two months and, and the money will be gone.